Developing at 6, an investigation into the death of a 63-year-old woman continues at this hour. Sheriff's investigators believe a body discovered in the woods of the Salado Creek Hike and Bike Trail is that of 63-year-old Stacy Dramiga. A clear alert had been issued for her just this morning, but hours later, her body was found. It was located about three miles away from where her car was found. Ken's Five reporter Sue Kalberg is on the trail where the search for evidence continues. Sue? You know, there are uh, emergency call boxes up and down the trail, and that's what the focus is on this afternoon. It's on safety for everybody. They're hoping that anybody was, that was out here on the trail from about 10 o'clock Sunday morning on, and that's somewhere between DeFoss Park, where we're standing now, that's by East Commerce Street, all the way down to Rigsby and Covington County Park. If they remember seeing the woman, they want to hear from people. She was wearing a long sleeve athletic type shirt, multicolored tights like yoga type pants, along with a hat and scarf, very distinctive clothing. Now there are a lot of trail users. They're hoping somebody saw something and Sheriff Javier Salazar said the trail system is generally safe, but like all areas, vigilance is always super important. The Greenway trails are, are absolutely safe, right? But but you have to, no matter where you are, whether you're in a, a park, uh, you know, a, 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 a rural area or in the middle of the city, you've got to be aware of your surroundings at all times. You've got to make sure that you're notifying somebody of where you're going to be. Now, the search for clues may go on a day or maybe several days. The sheriff said it will be up to the medical examiner to confirm if this body is actually the missing woman, Stacy Dramaga. They're hoping that anybody who was on the trail from 10 o'clock Sunday morning on and who may have seen this distinctively dressed woman will call BCSO tips if they've got any clues. Live in East San Antonio, Sue Kalberg, Ken's 5. Thank you.